Hey everyone, this is Mario Skin Super on the Mario Skin Super channel, and today I got Weather Painters. <laughs> weather Painters is one of the cool, really fun art types that came out out of the newest set. As you guys know how I feel about these new sets, we gotta recover them. But before we get into it, I want you guys to do me a favor. You guys on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And the question is, is do you guys like Weather Painters? Write it down in the comments down below. But on that note, let's explain what Weather Painters are. Weather Painters are a set of fairy monsters from the Link format, but because we do not have Links in Dual Links, they have a they rely on their secondary effects, where themselves they have the abilities to somehow get the Weather Canvases cards on board. The Weather Canvases cards are cards that allow you to give your weather painters effects based off the cards. It is a very interesting mechanic to have. They really do remind me kind of like ritual beasts, a lot of little monsters that have, ability, that have really strong abilities, but need the support of big monster effects. So on that note, nope, let's get into this deck list. So on that note, we're only running 20 cards. I really want to run this at 20 card, one, 121 card shenanigans. We're playing the balanced deck, the balanced version of the deck. Some people are playing with shadow games. I like the shadow games effect, but I tried balance this time around only because I don't have shadow games. But on that note, let's get into this deck list. So with balance, we're trying to run as close to six of every card that we can. For my version, I opted to run extra monsters and extra traps, and I will tell you why. Our big spot room, one of our big spot removals is Lava Golem. You know, it's just tribute to monsters. Normal summon him. You can't special summon. You can't normal summon for the rest of the turn. You special summon this card. Really good if you're going second or going third. Um, to just get rid of problematic monsters. Um, a lot of times you will tag your little guys out to bring them back. So your opponent wants to build up a big board. You can kind of just go over a lot of going with them. This is your first way of dealing with very big monsters. This deck does have multiple ways. Because this deck really does struggle with getting past that. Second, we run two Weather Painter Snows. I wasn't really sold on running this at three. It is, when it's normal summon, you get to place a the Weather card from your deck to the board. A lot of times you're going to do it to grab Thundery first, um, Snowy second, and then Cloudy third. Um, and then she tags, and then with the other cards, she just lets her tag out. So really good card. We run one Painter Sun. We only run one Painter Sun because Painter Sun has the ability that if it's in the graveyard, you can send a continuous fall trap on the board to the grave to special summon him and then place a weather card from your deck to the board. Really good way to move around. He's a really good card. If you need something to be destroyed by battle, he's the guy to do it. He also gets himself back. We do do a little bit of discarding in this deck, so he's kind of what you want to discard. Awesome guy, 1600. We do run triple weather painter thunders. When it's when it's on the board, you can send a continuous spell trap on the board to the grave to place a weather spell and trap from the deck to the face up zone. Really cool. Um, and then once per turn during the stand. Oh, and then all of the weather painters have the ability that when they're in the banished zone and they've been banished by their own effects, they can be brought back. Um, that's really cool. We run just these three. I. Yeah. Speaking of alternates, let me check real quick. Oh, that was not the keyboard. <laughs> Other ones you can run that we do not run in this deck is Painter Rain. It's just when it's special summon, it places. You're not doing a lot of special summoning. Deck. You can, and there's a way to put Rain in the deck, but I don't do it. So let's get into our spells and traps. We run double Necro Valley. This literally makes you lock out your um, witchcrafters. It locks out Dark Magicians. It's really just because you're not really interacting with your graveyard. This is a really good card to run into your deck to make your opponent not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh most of the time. <laughs> but um, on other non-weather cards, we run when Karma Cut drop. Target a face up monster, banish that target, and banish all of the same monsters from your opponent's graveyard. It's an amazing card. It's also how you deal with big monsters. And in Ultimate Providence, because we are running balance on a, you have a good chance of having a monster spell and trap in your hand. Ultimate Providence is just an Omni Gate to stop those. 
this card actually saved us a lot in our replays. So that's where it goes. Now for our weather spells and traps, we're gonna go from importance down. We run triple thundery canvas. So thundery canvas is amazing because at the start of the damage set, if the card when the weather effect monsters in your main monster zone and adjacent to those zones get the ability that at the beginning of the damage stat, if the card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this you can banish the weathery monster, the weather painters, to banish to bounce the card your opponent is attacking with. It's you banish, then you bounce. You want to put this in the center zone. This wants to be the first card you set on board. Remember that. If you do set something, if you're going to pop, like, if you're gonna use Thunder to get rid of something, it's usually to get rid of the center card to put Thunder. So, you want this in the center. It is a bounce back. It is, how, it is the third way in the in archetype way to deal with big monsters. You also run Triple Snowy Canvas. You can banish the card that is adjacent to the monster zone that it's pointing to to search any the weather card. So either the weather painters or the weather weather cards. <laughs> so this is your Omni Searcher for the arch type. And you can only control one of each of these cards on the board. So that's another reminder. And if we run one cloudy canvas, it's a bounce, it's a send to the banish zone to half the attack of a card on board. That is your third way of dealing with big monsters. It's the most unreliable way to deal with monsters. But you do have a pretty strong board when all three of these guys are on board. The only two we do not run is Sunny Canvas. No. And, and the Aurora Canvas. No. So, that is the deck. I really enjoy playing with this deck. I do want to revisit it in a couple of weeks when the meta kind of settles down with this stuff. But you guys can do me a favor. Stick around for the matches. I love you. I appreciate you guys. This is Mars Kingston for the Mars Super Channel. And let's get to these replays. Two weeks. Okay, nothing happened to the stream. Okay, so I don't dislike this. We can set Thundery. We can activate Snowy Canvas. We can normal summon Sun. Activate Snowy Canvas' effect to grab us a Thundery. We'll set the Karma Cut and then we'll end turn. So now we have a Karma Cut to get rid of anything on the board. Sun will come back. I don't mind losing the Thunder. You're working, on, you're working on One Piece. You are a master. You are a chief. Bingo Machine Go. Is there a Blue Eyes card? Ask me. It's the Spirit of White we don't want. We don't want him to be able to get Spirit of White. But I don't think we get to see what card he has in his hand. And Spirit of White is not super easy to summon. Here I come. I so... That's okay. I don't mind the special summon of a normal one. So made as well eyes of blue. We're now gonna. Why did you? So now we're gonna karma cut. We're gonna drop the painter. We're gonna destroy the protector of eyes of blue. And that is it. We now kind of have a setup to be able to deal with things. Oh, We're now just going to activate Thunder. She can summon any blue eyes from hand deck or graveyard. So the eyes of... It's the spirit of white that I'm really not trying to deal with. 
Oh, he just goes straight blue eyes. Oh, never mind. Oh, I thought he was gonna be. I thought he was gonna do something different. Be sir, you, sir, you don't want to do this. Sir, you don't want to do this. Okay. You really want to do this? Blue eyes. We're not gonna do anything until the declaration of battle. Oh, swooty woogie. Um, I'm getting. Why did it? Why didn't you go off? Oh, because I, I did it at Declaration of Battle. Blue eyes, mm. Don't do it at Declaration of Battle, guys. Learn from my mistakes. But we still got this. Sun's effect. Bring him back. Will normal summon Thundery? Auto. And we will do two things now. Sun will activate his effect for Snow Canvas. And we will grab us a Snow. Snow will be good for... And it will end. Oh man, I feel like I messed up that turn. I could have just, I could have just waited until battle phase. Like, I, the thing about effects that just go off quickly is that you want to activate things to not be scared. Then we bring it back. He's already wasted his beat down. So I'm not scared. And you know what? We'll just keep this clip in because it's going to be the clip that has everything in it. Game over. Let me make sure I read this right. Read your cards. Nope. We're going to wait until the beginning of the damage stat. I can send that to his hand. Okay, because that's my timer reminding me that it's time to record. I've so we draw for the turn. We have Thundery Canvas. We activate Sun, bring Sun back. Summon Sun. We can normal summon Paint of Snow. We will now go into battle phase. We will attack with Inner Sun. We will attack with Thundery Canvas, or Thundery, or Thunder. And then at the end phase, we will activate Thunder's effect of Snow Canvas. And we just want to grab a spell. Why? Because guess who? Nah, we're cool. In turn, I end my turn. we bring it back. This feels like bad news. We're gonna turn that on. We're gonna we're gonna bring back our thunder. Thunder comes back. We will activate Sun's effect of Snowy Canvas to search a monster. So now with Ultimate Province on board. We have every we have a one negate this turn. So I don't think he has a lot he can do right now, but we do have a spell with Omen of Providence, we have a Omni, a kind of an Omni negate. Well, an Omni negate on activation. Which is very different. So we see Cosmo Brain, it's being special summon. I'm not worrying about his attacking me or whatsoever. Yeah, we we'll activate Thundery Canvas to bring to just shoot that back, and the next turn we have game. That's all it is. It's very easy to want to just proc effects, but you have you have you have to be careful. And then Sun will come back, and that is game for me. Well, not exactly, but pretty close to it. We we'll activate the Necro Valley. Just in case there's Kyroids in his hand or anything. So we're waiting for a response. I think he knows. We'll go into battle phase. So if anything activates, we have one of every type of game. Um, we have a negate for everything, and we won. Okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm 
villain is. My turn. So we can actually set the Thundery Canvas, activate the Snow Canvas, normal Simon Arch Painter Snow, which now lets me activate, which lets me um, get the Cloudy. So this has, so we have everyone now. We're really mad that this makes fairies lose their things. But we now can activate um, the snowy canvas to now add thundery to thunder to him. And at, at end phase or at standby phase, we'll put in the fence and then activate thundery canvas. Now, at least if he has to get rid of <laughs> that, um, that meme of, um, of Jonah Hill just doing this. That's makes me mm. So now we kind of get defense. We have Cloudy to lower defense. We have Thundery to stop the battle. We have Snowy to search. Um, we have Lava Golem to, if he decides to swarm his build. I'm counting on you. So we see Magician draw. I'm not super. I'm not upset about that. Magician Rod decides it wants to go off. See, now I'm a little bogged. Dark Magical Circle. I don't want to really proc anything. It's not like I could get another Painter Snow. Okay, so he has another one. If we see anything set, we we kind of know, like we kind of know to be afraid of the navigation. We kind of know to be upset about, like, to be scared of some other stuff. We do have a lot of tagging out potential. But I also really want to prod. Think so. I really want to prod. Um, Magician navigation on Sunday. Hey, thank you for the bit, Shadow Fresh. How are you doing? It started a new all account. It's so fun making a new deck. It is not. This is not the game that you want to be. This is not the game that you want to be. Um, Starting a new account and old accounts for stuff. To get, best believe I am a very big mobile gamer. I literally do like playing video games on my phone. This is not a game I would have an old account for. Unless you made an old account for every deck that you play. So we see two cards here. So he is Illusion Magic. We are not going to tag this out. I really want him to. Spend the time and energy. That's the thundering canvas. I kind of want him to banish. I mean, I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely just gonna activate the inner side. So we see. I'm gonna extra laugh. I'm gonna extra laugh. No, we have not normal summon. We have not special summon this whole entire turn yet. Here I go. And he has he, summon a monster. For real. What are you ta what are you what are you targeting? Oh we Gucci Chief. We super Gucci. I do not mind losing that. I do not mind losing that. So Magician's Rod, okay, so he is going to go and circumvent my, he's going to circumvent my um, Lava Gold. So now what we're going to do is Normal Summon Sun. We're now going, ooh, I want to activate, I should activate a Thunder. We're going to set the Thunder Cloud. Damn it, never mind. We screwed up. We should have went thunder. It's my turn. We should have used thunder to pop to pop the cloud to get another thunder. But it's okay. I'm not going to be magician rod. I'm not going to trip so much. Dark magic expanding. Let's see. You can't do it during the battle set. He's Ayatomias. 
which works good for us. Is this target? Okay, we're in a good, we're in a better position now. This stops targeting effects. This I don't care about magicians rod like that, Chief. We're in a way good predicament now. We see a card phase down. So I know one of those is a navigation. I feel like it's just too easy. Fuck the thundering. going to ask me if I want to proc the thundery campus effect. Yes, we'll bounce it back. I don't care if he gets a search. You're not going to attack me. If you attack me, you are a Yes. Oh look, it doesn't target! Dork! That's cool. Uh, what I'm really looking for this turn is to see how he deals with Thundery Canvas again. Is he gonna banish the Thundery Canvas again? Oh, he gave up. Cool, we won. Ain't gonna beat me, Chief. Hey everyone, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys watching it all the way to the end. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Comment down below. I really appreciate you guys. This is Marskin Super on the Marskin Super channel. Out!